Hi guys, I'm Joe the Multiboxer, and today I'm going to help you get set up with EVE Online and IS Boxer. So first of all, in the Interspace menu, make sure you already have EVE Online in the list. Um, if you do, it might already have no patch and DirectX 11 and DirectX 9 profiles for you to use. Um, you will want to use one of the no patch profiles to make it easier in EVE Online. Uh, so if you don't already have that, use Add Game to add it. I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, click the dot 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 button by game executable and in the eve folder under bin don't don't pick the eve online launcher um, that will uh, just make it more difficult for you to get started um, go into the bin folder and select exe file.exe click open um, you don't have to put anything else just click ok now once you have that um, that's here in the menu now um, up in the Wizards menu in IS Boxer, select Quick Setup Wizard. Which game will you play? We're going to play EVE Online. Um, so, which characters will form this team? Uh, give it each of your characters that you're playing right now. You don't have to put the actual character name, although if you want to set up different settings for your DPS, from your logistics, and so on, um, then in that case it might be easier for you to put the character name so you can set that up easier. Um, under game and game profile, you're going to want to pick the no patch profile, or if you added uh, the game manually, uh, go ahead and select Eve and default profile. Um, and that's the one that I added that will uh, skip the patcher. Add character to team, do the same thing for your other characters. Add character to team. So now I've got each of my characters in, and they both have uh, the Eve default profile selected. Click next, choose a name for your team my two characters, I'm just going to call it Eve Duo, but just keep it simple um, so that you'll recognize your team. Window layout style, there's a bunch of options here based on the number of characters you have and the number of monitors you have. Um, so just pick something that uh, looks like what you want um, and you can modify it later, there's other videos for that. Um, but I'm going to use this one here, it's going to have one main area and then two smaller areas where uh, whichever window is not up here in the main area will be down here in one of the smaller areas. Uh, click Next. CPU strategy. Um, this can get a little bit complicated, but um, for the most part, you'll probably want to select all CPUs with every window down here in this box. Um, there are some other options. Uh, round robin balancing may be useful for you, uh, depending on the number of characters you have and the number of CPU cores. Um, but as you can see here, this is showing me that round robin balancing is not fully balanced uh, for my two characters on my eight CPU cores. Um, with hyper threading, it's assigning two cores per slot. Uh, but even so, I I have more cores than game windows. So I'm going to use select all CPUs with every window. Click next. On the final page, this is the control style. There are different styles. Um, MMO standard is for games like say World of Warcraft. Um, and they have an action bar down here where you might hit 1, 2, uh, all the way up to equals to activate some ability in the game. And because EVE doesn't have that, um, that doesn't really apply to EVE. So we're just going to use minimal. Um, another one that might be okay is generic broadcasting. Uh, but I'm going to go with minimal. Uh, and toggle broadcasting mode is pretty much the only hotkey you will need from this list. Um, but if you want to set up a hotkey for activating the next window, that's to rotate windows, each one, one by one. Um, so you can set that to like F10 or something to rotate between all the windows if you want to set that up. Um, and uh, click, just click Finish. I'm not going to change any of that. Um, and after setting that up, export all to Interspace from the file menu. It's exported successfully. Now from there, we can just launch our team and get started. So down here in the corner, Right click Interspace, IS Boxer character says, there's my character set. Click on it to launch the team and let's uh, see how this works. Alright, so my game windows are up and I can go ahead and log into them. Now, if you have the same password on all your accounts, uh, then you should check the username box in each window. Um, after the first time you log in, um, it should save that in each window separately, so you can go ahead and just log into all of them at the same time easily. Okay. 
Now, I did that with broadcasting mode. I pressed Shift Alt R first, and uh, yeah. So Shift Alt R toggles broadcasting mode. You can see the cursor in the bottom screen there, um, following my cursor on the main screen. Uh, I'll collect or select both of my characters, and let's let them log in. So as you can see, that got us basically started. Uh, I got both my guys in station. Uh, one of them, I guess, is in a ship here. And uh, from here, we could play the game just like normal. Now there's a, a handful of questions that EVE players might have in order to play the game. Um, for example, targeting a uh, the same ship. Um, how do I use the overview window and so on? and um, we'll have other videos to cover those questions. Um, but for now, this is all you actually needed in order to log in with your characters, get started, turn on broadcasting mode, um, and do the same thing in each of your game windows. So if you have other questions, come to the isboxer.com forums, the isboxer chat room. Uh, there's plenty of EVE players that can help you out and answer those questions for you. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks, guys. Have fun multiboxing EVE Online with IS Boxer.